Hi everyone. Welcome to tutorial on easy Empire State immersive experiences. This is our third tutorial in a series which teaches you how to upload items to the easy database. This one will cover uploading audio and visual items into a panorama tour. If you haven't already, we suggest you familiarize yourself with our first two videos, which will walk you through the process of creating a panorama as well as creating a panorama tour. You'll need both of those in order to proceed with this one. You'll notice I have two tabs open here. The second tab is my audio item, which I have already uploaded into the Easy database. I did this through choosing Create and then Any Digital Object and choosing the type Music Recording. The type Music Recording is the way that Easy refers to all audio within its database. We're going to keep this here because we're going to need this existing item to add on to our tour. In order to make a tour feature audio and visual items, you need to do a little bit of a workaround. But the first step is creating your panorama tour. If you've proceeded through our second tutorial video, this will be very familiar with you. We're just going to enter a little bit of test information here so that we can start building our item. I'm going to use the scene Lackawanna City Hall because that's the scene that my audio pertains to. Once I hit Add Scene, you'll notice the familiar Panorama Tour Editor will pop up. I'll click at the location that I would like my hotspot to be, noting that the Yaw and the Pitch field now show values that indicates these coordinates. We're going to use the type Another Digital Object, and we're going to select any digital object in the database. This is not the audio object that you're selecting itself. If you search for that object, it will not appear in the drop-down menu, but you will be able to add it with a little bit of a workaround that I mentioned. So we'll start with this Blaisdell Bridge as the placeholder. When I hit Add Hotspot, you see the hotspot will appear, as well as down here, a list of the coordinates, the type, and the label of the hotspot will also appear. In order to change that hotspot's target, we need to finish the panorama tour. So I'm going to proceed through the rest of the steps. Here, again, we'll just enter some test data so that we can proceed through this form. We are not a member of a collection, so we'll move on to the next step. We're not going to upload a header image, so we're going to save our metadata. Once here, we will save our content in order to persist it on the system. Now, you'll see your panorama with the hotspot is located. Note how it says digital object and has no title. In order to change that, we're going to need to do some editing. If you select edit from the top of your panorama, you'll be presented with several options. We're going to choose this one here, Edit as Raw JSON Metadata. This produces a box which can be typed in that holds all of the metadata that is attached to your panorama tour and its hotspots. If we scroll down, you'll see we have a panorama tour tag, and then in the scene, we have a hotspot. This is the specific hotspot that is placed on scene 345, which is the number of our Lackawanna City Hall. The relevant fields here are URL and text. You'll note in the URL field that we have a slash do slash alphanumeric identifier. This identifier is system generated and it's the unique ID of that particular Blaisdell Bridge item in Easy. We're going to need to change that to be the item that we're referring to. When I hop back to this tab here, you'll see that there is a slash do slash alphanumeric identifier, very similar to what is in here. We're going to need to copy and paste this beginning with the slash before do. Once that is copied, we're going to insert it right here into the metadata. As I paste, you'll notice that the ID has changed and now corresponds to this item. You'll also want to add inside the quotes in the text field what your item is so people will know when they click it. Once those
those two pieces are edited, you're all finished. So we're going to save. Now, you'll see the same panorama tour, except this time, when I mouse over this, you'll notice that it has the title, Lackawanna City Hall Audio, and when clicked, it opens a window which features a play button City Hall opened that will allow in 19... you to hear the audio item that has been ha added to the Easy Database. That's all you have to do. It's a very easy process, but it does take a little bit of thought and planning in order to do so. If you have any trouble, feel free to contact me or any of the site administrators of Easy, and we'll be more than happy to help you set up your own panoramas with AV objects. I hope this has been informative for you, and have a great day.